hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing good uh, so this scam has been happening in budapest for quite a long time and it started in uh, almost 2022 and uh, it was very new at that time but now it's happening like very frequently and i have seen many people complaining about this problem and uh, and the and the most important thing is that you can't do anything about this scam like nobody can help you in that police can't help you nobody will help you you will just lose your money because i have been scammed like this in year 2022 and i have reported to the police nothing happened since then it's been two years so how this scam works that it's about accommodation and uh, so you want to rent a place and you will post uh, on facebook that i'm looking for a place to live and many people does this when they are looking for long term so it's i mean it's the most uh, basic way and the common way of uh, looking for an accommodation you will post on Facebook in a Facebook group uh, there are a lot of groups uh, related to accommodation so you will post in one of that group and someone will reach you uh, by claiming that you can rent a room with them and they will send you a picture of the house or a picture of the room and everything and it can also happen on the other way that one will post an ad on the Facebook claiming that he uh, he is the owner and he would like to rent this room out for you like you know a decent room in a decent price that you know currently in Budapest everyone is looking for a nice place and every time you see a Facebook ad you will see that in like half an hour there are like I don't know 30 or 50 people are interested in that room so just because of this problem uh, people are taking an advantage so how they do is that they post a Facebook ad and they say this is they are the owner and they would like to rent this room out and many people will reach them out uh, so this is how it happened to me because i was like really looking for a place and i had no other choice to wait so i had to like really find a place uh, so i wrote to that uh, person that okay i'm interested in this room the room is nice i'm i would like to rent it out and you will be surprised that you know he invited me to so what's happening right now is that they ask you to uh, pay them some money to reserve the place for you so imagine like 40 people have sent sent that person a message that they are interested to rent a room so he so this is what he claims that okay you can reserve this place as many people are interested and you have to pay like one month rent so how it works generally is that you have to pay two months deposit and one month rent before you move in so let's say the rent is 300 euros you have to pay 900 euros like this is the basic case when you move to a new place so they ask you for to submit them one month deposit so like let's say it's overall 900 euros you have to pay so they ask for you so they ask you to pay like uh, 300 euros so you can reserve a place and uh, this is uh, this is how they say that okay we will not uh, give this place to someone else you can come and you can uh, look at this place if you like it we will give you the priority okay this is how they claim okay and many people get fooled because of this uh, they send them money and then they claim oh there was nobody it was a fake and blah blah but in my case it was much more realistic thing that happened to me so the you know you will listen to my story now um, so I wrote to a guy and uh, I said okay I'm interested in this room you posted he was like yeah yeah I posted uh, uh, you can uh, when when would you like to see the room I said okay this date this time I will come I went to that room I went to that place it was nice building everything was like real I went to the apartment I saw the room I, I met the owner and uh, everything was fine and uh, so I liked the room I said okay it's good and uh, so I said okay I will rent it from next month and for that if you need to sign a contract you have to pay some money of course it's basics and I paid him like one month deposit at that time it was around <clears throat> 300 euros so I paid him and I said okay and he gave me the contract you know real contract with the with all the details everything he gave me he gave me those papers I gave him I sent him a money I didn't even pay him in cash I just you know did the bank transfer and everything was good and after like two or three weeks uh, when like you know the time uh, came that I had to move to that apartment 
So it was revealed that it was a scam. You know, he was rent. He was not the owner. He was just. He was, you know, some tenant who was, uh, you know, trying to earn some money like this. So he scammed me around 300 euros, and I later I figured it out that he scammed some local Hungarians also with much more than me. So, like around I don't know 1500 euros or 2000 euros, he he scammed some other Hungarian. Okay, then I thought, okay, I'm not a, even like local. I'm not a Hungarian. So I got like you know I got lucky in that situation. That even if he scammed a local, a Hungarian guy, then you know I I was the very uh, easy uh, you know person for him to scam so <clears throat> it happened in 2022 uh, me and that hungarian guy reported to the police nothing happened till now and uh, uh, so now this thing is happening like every other day every other day people are complaining about this thing as i said there are two cases they say that okay send us the money to reserve your place that's okay you know that's the most stupid thing of getting scammed you know you don't send money to anyone just to reserve the place okay so don't do this and then the second case when you know you are going to see the apartment everything is real you sign a contract and still you get scammed then i think you have to be very unlucky but uh, make sure you check all the documents uh, i made these mistakes i didn't check all the like valid documents id and like a lot of other things so check the person's id if that id is real as come and as the you know name is written on the contract check the i don't know some property documents do this if you want to be uh, you know 100 percent sure even that person if that person gets like you know uh, offended by these things don't don't rent you know it's your right to ask all the legal documents tell him that you know these scams are happening every day so i want to make sure it's real show me your property papers show me everything so this is how you uh, you should do because this thing is so common these days in budapest that you you can't even imagine um, so yeah that uh, that's it i hope it will uh, it will help you guys i mean i shared with my uh, friend circle so they don't get scammed and it helped them a lot they have been aware of this situation so i hope uh, this can help you also i mean i'm making this video because i have seen i'm seeing this like this type of problems every other day so in in the facebook groups people are complaining about this and then they are asking for help that if someone can help so there is no help no one can help you in that uh, as i mentioned so it's it's your own uh, job to to be careful and uh, to make sure that you're not going to be scammed so yeah that's it uh, for today's video and uh, i hope this video will help you a lot and uh, you can write me any question if you have so yeah that's it uh, take care of yourself and see you in my next video goodbye